We're in the Sonoran Desert, yet we're surrounded by water, plants, and birds of every kind. It's an oasis with a very special purpose. We've got water, water everywhere. <laughs> Today on Suvida. Let's go this way. Look at that duck. Now, every January, I'm sure you run into a resolution that sounds a little bit like this. I'm gonna exercise more this year. Oh, I'm gonna build a budget and I'm gonna stick to it. <gasps> this year, I'm gonna give up candy. Eh, me, 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 it's all about us. How about a resolution that actually helps the environment, Vanessa? Ooh, like this year, I'm gonna do what it takes to use less water? Actually, I can do that, yeah, that works. It's a lot easier than giving up candy, that's oh, for sure. True. Today, we're at the Repair and Preserve at Water Ranch in Gilbert, Arizona. 20 years ago, the town of Gilbert made a commitment to reuse 100% of its effluent water, creating a wildlife habitat and educational and recreational opportunities for visitors. There are seven water recharge basins covering 70 acres, which are filled on a rotating basis. The treated effluent water is allowed to percolate into an aquifer where it's stored for future use. The preserve is a beautiful place to take a walk and be surrounded by nature. If you want to know more about saving water, a great place to start is the Eisendrath Center for Water Conservation. The Eisendrath Historic House is very unique. It's a pristine nine acres of Sonoran Desert. The Eisendress Center for Water Conservation started with a local uh, group of uh, community leaders. Um, the North Tempe Neighborhood Association decided that the house was too significant to let just go by the wayside. So the city purchased the property, the Rio Salado Foundation was created, and it took us about 15 years and $4.3 million to restore the house and get it to what it is today. I'm Holly Rosenthal, I'm the Deputy Public Works Director for Water Utilities for the City of Tempe. So right here at the Eisendrath Center for Water Conservation, we hold classes about how to protect your mature trees. And and make sure that you use the right amount of water for protecting mature and newly planted trees. We might have gray water conservation classes. When we really focus on education, outreach, and programs that uh, provide an incentive for people to do the right things in terms of conserving water, both in their homes and their landscapes and with businesses. When we restored the building, we knew we needed to have an education component. With the help of Salt River Project, we did build a state-of-the-art teaching classroom. The historic house is a home setting. It has four beautiful outdoor patios for entertainment. The house is a visitor center uh, for tours, docent-led tours, on the hour on Thursdays and Saturdays by appointment. Uh, also, we are a small special event venue. The house has been used for anniversary parties, celebrations of life, and we have a wedding almost every weekend. So it's turned out to be a wonderful venue and unique, and people do love it. The education building is available for water-related organizations to use as education and for retreats and, and meetings. If you're interested in the house as a venue or for a tour, visit us on our website at eisendrathhouse.org. At almost every turn here at the Repair and Preserve, we're reminded that us humans aren't the only ones that need water. Yeah, that's right. Nearly 300 species of birds have been sighted here, and people come from all over to check out the beautiful and sometimes rare birds. 
There are free guided bird walks here October through March. It's a great way to get outside and enjoy the cooler weather. And now we're going to see who spots the most birds while you watch this. Having fun exploring community, culture, food, imas with sous vide? Head on over to yourview.com for more videos. Sous vide is brought to you by Chicanos por la Causa. Join the cause for change. Hey, welcome back to sous vide. Today we're at the Riparian Preserve at Water Ranch in Gilbert, Arizona. Water conservation is the purpose of these 110 acres, but the preserve has become a home to fish, amphibians, reptiles, and mammals. Four and a half miles of trail go through this beautiful preserve. And if you're one of those people who've made a commitment to do something different, well, this is a great place to start. Yeah, well, the intention to exercise more is always a popular resolution. But if you're itching for something more interesting than the treadmill, we got you. I think we found it. How about a new year, a new you? It's time to introduce you to aerial yoga. So aerial yoga is still a yoga practice, but it's using an aerial hammock as a prop to help you get into postures that may not necessarily be attainable for the average student on the mat. Also assists in inversions, um, and it kind of just adds like a fun new flow to yoga. This helps to lubricate through the hip joints. I like the decompression of the spine. I love floating in the silks. There's not a better feeling. I love how you really let gravity take hold of you. So you really release all the tension that you have and you release it and surrender it to gravity. Arms extend straight back behind you. You don't need any background in aerial or yoga to take an aerial yoga class. It's a great beginner class. You have something to hold on to. You don't have to worry about balance as much because you have something that's going to catch you and support you. Hands will reach up for that fabric and exhale forward into your lunge. You take aerial yoga to gain flexibility. You don't need it to start. That's why you're here. You'll find a little bit deeper. Whenever you're in the soap, you are completely just hanging. And so it's just a lot of release. Um, I feel in my body, not as much tension. And then with flipping upside down, that always feels good. But then you're supported. You're not going anywhere. You're not going to fall. It's just a really cool variation on yoga. Pull the foot towards the head. With aerial yoga, you're going to experience a lot of spinal decompression. So you're going to open up through the back. It's great for lower back pain. It's great for people who sit or stand at their jobs all day. As well as all of that, it makes you happier. Inversions actually decrease your stress hormone production and increase your serotonin and dopamine levels. Yoga is amazing because it has mind, body, spiritual benefits to it. And what I love most about it is it's all about the breath. It's all about you're moving with your breath and you're really releasing all the tension with your breath. Pull the palms together, draw some power into your heart center space. Inhale in through the nose. Exhale out through the mouth. I find that my stress level is down. My patience is very high. My blood pressure is very low and I carry this feeling of peace and openness with me throughout my day. Release the hands down towards the ground. I think watching people's faces when they do something that they straight up thought that they could never do and, and getting to see how excited they are and just seeing them be like, I didn't think I could do that and then they can. So I really love sharing that with people and just watching people feel good and feel strong and feel proud and feel empowered. Namaste, and thank you so much for coming to class today. Hey, that looks like fun. Yeah. Of course, if you're looking at more exercise, you might be looking at eating a healthier diet. Okay, well, if that's the plan, then you definitely should make a trip to your neighborhood farmer's market. It's the best. Oh, yeah. We're there all the time. Yeah, remember that one time we got lemon meringue pie? You got lemon meringue pie. I guess that's not really healthy, huh? Nope. really supports buying local. So we see a really, really strong community that chooses to shop local, that chooses to spend their dollars and support local artisans, chooses to buy their produce from local growers. 
Um, on any given Saturday, people can come downtown and find over 80 different vendors and everything ranging from local growers to local artisans, obviously unique handmade um, artisan foods and wares and all sorts of fun stuff. I, I've been coming to this market for nearly 13 years. So what I'm doing is called spinning. Uh, this is a drop spindle and I'm making yarn from my sheet. There's 10,000 years of recorded history of doing it this way. I have my sheep are on the endangered species or the watch list. I don't have like the typical breeds. I'm trying to keep the older breeds alive. So first I shear them, you know, give them a haircut. And then uh, we wash it with hot soapy water, and then I brush it so it's all going the same direction. And then I can spin it. I crochet, I knit, um, I've even got some jewelry items down here with lapis stones on them, headbands, and then I sell a lot of yarn. We're in numerous markets throughout the valley. Uh, downtown Phoenix Public Market is where we're at right now. The difference between organic and non-organic is everything is grown the way it should be. It's no pesticides. We do fertilize, however, we use all organic materials and we don't spray any chemicals to keep the bugs away. So we have to be out in the fields diligently every day to make sure that everything is growing as it should. And if things uh, do get attacked by different various aphids or bugs, that stuff is just harvested and fed to the chickens. We encourage everybody to come out to all the different various farmers markets throughout the valley and support your local farmer. It's very important to know where your food comes from and you're also supporting people that live here. All the money that we make is re-spent and reinvested where you live in our home. So if you want to find out more, go online and check out our website. We have a great blog where we share recipes and we always post our vendor list. You can find out more information about what we do, what other projects we have. So of course you can always go online to find the information about Phoenix Public Market. I think just about anybody can use a little bit more exercise, Vanessa. Yeah, and that includes your kids. You won't get any complaints about turning off the electronics when you suggest a trip here to the Repair and Preserve. You know, where they can climb a hill, fish, or even check out some animals. The lake here is stocked with rainbow trout, largemouth bass, and farm-raised channel catfish. Fishing regulations and stocking schedules are posted on site and available through the Arizona Game and Fish website. We'll be back with more Suvida right after this. For more great videos highlighting all that's happening across Arizona, visit yourview.com. Enjoy local stories from your community in the form of videos, articles, podcasts, live streams, and more. Find it all only at yourview.com. Welcome back to Suvida. I'm Vanessa Ramirez. And I'm JR Cardenas. Today we're visiting the Repair and Preserve at Water Ranch located in Gilbert, Arizona. One of the more unique things you'll find here at the preserve is the Gilbert Rotary Centennial Observatory, which is open to the public, weather permitting every Friday and Saturday evening at dusk, year round. Now that's a cool date night. Okay, so today we've been talking about resolutions and the new year, and sometimes the new year brings a turning point in life, right? For example, buying a new home for the first time. That's a huge turning point, Vanessa. Yeah, it is. Well, if you're buying a new home or maybe just trying to spiffing up the home you're already in, maybe it's time to take a trip over to American Freight Furniture. My name's Kevin O'Keefe. I'm the VP of Sales, and we're here at American Freight in our Phoenix, Arizona location. 
American Freight is a furniture and mattress company that was established in 1993. We're a discount furniture and mattress retailer and we have 150 stores here in the U.S. We currently have three stores in the Phoenix area, one here in Phoenix, one in Mesa, and one in Tempe. Uh, and we're soon to open up in Glendale. We came to the Valley to offer the everyday Valley customer great quality furniture at affordable prices. Here at American Freight we have a saying, everybody needs a place to sit, sleep, and eat. Everything is so expensive these days, we want to offer the everyday individual an affordable furniture and mattress solution. We buy direct from the manufacturer and ship them to the local warehouses here. And without expensive showrooms and low operating costs, we pass the savings on to the customer. The most important thing to consider when buying furniture is quality, price, and style. Everybody's needs are different and we offer something for everybody. We offer bedroom sets, dining sets, seven piece living room packages from $4.98 and whole house packages starting at $9.98. The seven piece living packages include sofa love, coffee tables and lamps. The bedroom packages include dresser, mirror, headboard, chess, and nightstands. We also offer mattress sets for hundreds below MSRP. Well, here at American Freight, you can try it before you buy it. You know, you can come in, you can touch it, you can sit on it, you can feel it, uh, and you won't have to pay the extra shipping costs that are sometimes pretty high when you buy online and our cost is very comparable if not better than most online pricing. If you need something right away then this is the place to come. We have same day available pickup and delivery on all in stock items. Our sales staff is very friendly, knowledgeable and willing to help customers in any way possible. Our employees know the importance of turning a house into a home. Here at American Freight, we look forward to assisting you with all your furniture and mattress needs. Come down to your local store and experience our huge selection of high quality furniture at closeout prices. Here at American Freight, you get the best for less. You'll find a lot of good items for your home at American Freight Furniture. Just like you'll find a lot of cool stuff here at the Preserve. Mm -hmm. We'll be right back with more. Su vida. Right after this. Suvida is brought to you in part by Mega 104.3 and 1011 The Beat. Hey everybody, welcome back to Suvida. We are hanging out here next to the brittle bush. Now Vanessa, did you know that brittle bush is the favorite food of the bighorn sheep? Yeah. yeah. Don't act like you know that. Some lady just told us that walked by. <laughs> Anyways, we're here at the Repair and Preserve at Water Ranch in Gilbert, Arizona, Vanessa. This place is so big and so cool. They even have overnight camping, which is great for a group of scouts. Yeah, wow, imagine the sounds that happen when the sun goes down. Mm. Well, that sounds like fun. But if you want fun on two wheels. Big wheels? Yeah. Then check out Fat Scooters. Take a look. Let's so go let's go ask scooter. that lady for more information. No, no, no. Mr. No, Know-it-all. I... My other business partner, Dan, he had bought uh, two scooters uh, for use in Arcadia. And we were all looking for easy transportation, use around getting to the grocery store, not having to get in the car. And he called me over one day and I said, those are the coolest things I've ever seen. And nobody was doing anything like it. Uh, so we found a good manufacturing facility, just found a great product and kind of designed it for use in the U.S. market. We really think our scooters are designed really easy to ride. They have the big fat tires on them. They have a twist throttle that you twist back, and they've got two brakes. 
So it is very, there's no shifting. Um, it's really pulled the throttle back. It's got a really smooth takeoff with the power. It's not got a ton of torque where it's going to make you feel like you're on a motorcycle and be unsafe. So it really is a, uh, not a steep learning curve for anybody. If you can ride a bike, you can ride this very easily. One of the things that separates us is we're like the Orange County Choppers of electric scooters. We do a lot of customization, anyway, from deck, custom paint, speakers, lights, you name it, whatever you want, we can do it, and we really like to accessorize and make the scooter personalized for you. We also get into some really high-end stuff. We have uh, a set of fenders that's solid copper, um, and you can hammer designs into it, so we get into some really uh, special stuff like that as well. So when you pull up to Fat Scooters, first thing we have is we have a center courtyard with a gigantic chipping and putting green. Then you walk in and you see this, this bar area. Then we move into the warehouse and you'll start to pick, go through the process of picking out your fender colors, your frame color, and, and start the design process on your scooter. Fat Golf was born kind of about eight months after we started Fat Scooters. We started seeing that you know, a lot of us are golfers and we started carrying our clubs on our back and riding to the course and then we figured we could really ride this on the course. We designed a golf rack to go on the back, uh, came up with our first prototype, and we started going out to, to courses and trying to market it to them. They ended up really liking it. We won Best of Show last year at PGA Show in 2018 for Golf Digest, and we're looking forward to this year expanding our presence even more. We've all been based in Phoenix. Uh, Arizona, I went to school in Tucson, came up to Phoenix, and always had businesses in Arizona. We like, we think Arizona is a great uh, market for businesses, young companies, and startups. We truly believe in giving back to the community, and so we do a lot of community outreach. We, uh, we've done events with the Boys and Girls Club, you know, the Thunderbirds, uh, the Charles. We do a lot of charity outreach, and uh, we just enjoy giving back. We encourage people to come down here, check our warehouse out, come down, chip and putt, come visit our bar, design your own scooter. We're at 3220 South Fair Lane in Tempe, Arizona. Or check us out online at fatscooters.com and that's P-H-A-T scooters.com. Hey, we had a great time here at the Riparian Preserve. We want to thank the town of Gilbert, Arizona for allowing us to be here. Okay, so if you made a resolution to volunteer more in 2019, this is the perfect place to do so. They have stewardship opportunities, and you can help out with field trips. Just go to the website for more information. I think this year is off to a great start. Make sure you watch us every week right here on Your View. Now that's a great resolution. We'll see you next time on Suvida. Do you want to get up here? No, but good luck getting down. See you later. All by myself? JR, I need help.